Yeah, it feels good. We've um, we've only been here for maybe an hour and a half, so but um, so far it's been good. I think we had a brilliant reception from a lot of kids that were waiting outside with the with the football shirts on, and the, and the lads were straight over as I got off the coach to go and go and greet them. So, you know, you can tell that there's a, there's a good atmosphere in terms of the the anticipation for the game tomorrow. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. You know, perhaps better than anybody, what an intimidating atmosphere it can be like in that stadium. Um, but for you personally, with your ambitions, with this job in mind, how important are you get off to a, a winning start, do you think? Well, we spoke quite a bit this week about performing. Um, I think if you focus too much on, on, a, on a result, especially when you're building up to it, uh, you can sometimes get a bit carried away. So performing, outperforming your, your, the, the player that you're playing against will be a big thing for us. And we spoke a lot this week about control. Um, so, you know, we've, we've had three days training with the, with the players. Uh, they've been so receptive to to not only myself but the rest of the coaches um, we've done a lot of work on, on and off the pitch in terms of the clips as well so yeah I think we're in a, we're in a good space I'm really really impressed with the players um, I knew they were a high level and a high standard beforehand but to, 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 to work with them for the last three days up close you know you can see that they're, they're not only top players but they're good people as well they want to do really well which, which really helps Harry good to see you and you um, look for all but one of your nine years as an England player you had Gareth Southgate as your, as your manager so this is a new era, it's a, it's a big change how different is it, in what ways would you describe it's different and, and how does it feel from your perspective Yeah I mean uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange when we first come into camp but you know the boss has tried to uh, you know have his ideas and, and his identity I think um, you know we've done a lot of good things uh, with Gareth and you know we've done uh, you know, well again in the summer, but ultimately, you know, a new coach has some new ideas and some fresh ideas, and wants to try and implement that on the team, um, especially on the pitch. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. You know, a lot of new faces, a lot of young players in the team as well, who are really excited to be here and uh, excited to express themselves. So, um, from my point of view, it's a uh, you know uh, another exciting chapter in in my England career. James. Hi, both. Lee, um, Rob obviously mentioned your, your Irish background, but there's going to be a lot of focus on Jack Grealish and Declan Rice in Ireland, given they switched allegiances. Do you have any concerns about playing them tomorrow in what might be a quite a hostile atmosphere? No, not all. I think, um, you know, we spoke not, not only to, about, about um, Jack and Declan, but to the whole squad. Um, we spoke about the atmosphere we expect it to be um, exciting, um, passionate, uh, loud. Um, but it's, it'll be no different to what the players are used to in Premier League games um, or, or high-level games. So, um, you know, I think I think they'll uh, they'll be ready for whatever whatever comes out. And what reception do you expect so personally? Um, I'm not sure to be honest. Um, probably the same. Um, yeah, but if, if the if the reception that we had off the the kids outside was anything to go by, it'll be very positive. Um, Harry, you, you've had a bit of time to reflect on, on the Euros now. What, what, what's your assessment of the tournament now you look back at it? Yeah, I think we've done extremely well to get to the final. I think it wasn't an easy tournament. Um, I don't think we reached the levels in a lot of the games that we know we can, but I think the positive thing from that is the fact that we got to the final. So, um, yeah, I mean, whenever it ends like that in, in defeat, you know, everyone quickly goes away and it's back into your own life and you try and get a break but before you know it you know you're back uh, for the new season so uh, I mean you don't fully get over it but I think you move on and, and you look at areas you can improve from a personal point of view you look at areas uh, you can improve and, and try and implement that on the new season but I think as a team you know we can take a lot of positives from the summer um, a lot of positives from you know the last four years uh, especially but ultimately it's about improving and there's areas that we can improve, especially uh, in the games when we look, look back at the summer. So uh, that's now our task as, as players is to try and uh, get better. And, and you know, these, uh, these games in the next few camps uh, are a great opportunity to do that. Is it harder to get over a second final or easier because you've experienced it before? Uh, no, it's not easier. I think every defeat is different in their own way. I think... Um, yeah, it's tough, you know, whenever you get so close to reaching, you know, one of the pinnacles of your international career and, and it gets taken away like that, it's, uh, it's really difficult. But ultimately, you know, life moves on, you have to move on, you have to get up and go again. And um, like I said, I think from my point of view, it just makes me 
even more motivated. It puts the fire in the belly to, uh, you know, to try and get back there again, or in a major tournament, try and get back there in the World Cup and uh, have a different outcome next time. And just finally, from me, have you, have you spoken to Gareth at all since since he? Yeah, there? we spoke after it was announced, and uh, we just had a, a brief chat, and he just wanted to. We both just wanted to thank each other, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a, a proper catch up when we have some time to, to see each other in person, but. Uh, no, of course, Gareth was a, a big part of you know my international career and a lot of the lads. But uh, all we can say is thank you to him, and um, yeah, now we look forward to to a new chapter in in our careers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nesta McGregor from BBC News. Uh, Lee, congrats. I'm a newbie like you. It's my first uh, England uh, away game. I wanted to know. You mentioned I've only been with the squad for three days. So tomorrow night, you mentioned the word performance. Is that long enough to implement your ideas and? What, what are we going to see different? Because talking to a lot of fans in the city centre, it was the performance that they wanted to see. Win, lose or draw, we want to enjoy the football. So yeah. have you had long enough to do that? I think we have, yeah. I think we've, um, we've, we've tried to get three or four um, different ways of playing. Um, ultimately, we have to play to the players' strengths. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it as my style or my way of playing. I think um, you know, the, the key to, to coaching is making sure you utilise the players' ability in their... Um, in their profiles that they've got so um, hopefully we, we see that tomorrow and a question for Harry I saw a few clips of Angel Gomez and um, Morgan Gibbs-White literally kids in a candy store couldn't believe it best friends since they were yay high what's it like having that new energy um, in the camp as well yeah it's great and it's uh, you know it's great for the experienced players as well and um, I think some you know I've been playing for Nine, nine years or so now for England and um, I still remember what my you know, first camp was like and the excitement and the nerves and everything that comes with it so uh, it's great to see that on their faces it's great to see them train with that, uh, that freedom and uh, them just trying to express themselves so uh, that's what you want as an international uh, player you want competition you want people pushing you you want to see um, you know, the best players playing their best football so um, no, it's been great to see and you know, from my point of view, as one of the experienced players in the team, it's just to try and help them settle in as quickly as possible. But I think we have that environment here with, with England anyway, and I hope they, they feel that. So, um, yeah, ultimately now it's just I think everyone's excited to, to get on there uh, on the pitch and, and play a game. And just a final question for Lee. It's the 89th minute winner. Harry scores a penalty. Do you run around the touchline celebrating or do you just calmly enjoy it? I, I calmly enjoy it. Uh, Jack Pitbrook, Kevin Farsight. Thanks. Hi, Lee. Um, are you conscious of this being like a, a fresh start and a clean slate for everyone, or how do you balance that against building on the Gareth's work over the last eight years? Yeah, definitely don't see this as a fresh start. I think, um, you know, that the... the I spoke about it before in terms of t taking over t a team as a as a caretaker manager that are low on confidence, you know, are low down the league um, and are struggling. This is the total opposite to that. This is a team coming off the back of a um, a tournament. Um, you know, it's a difference of opinion whether it was successful or not. I think it was. I think getting to a first of all qualifying for a major tournament is a is an achievement, and then to get as far as they did and so close um, and, and falling short. Yeah, I don't see this as a fresh start. This is a this is a chance to build on on what they've what they've done in the past. Um, I really believe that we're in a, a really strong position. I think when Gareth took over the team um, a while back, they were in they were in a, a, a lower position in terms of the amount of quality that was around. Uh, but now it's totally different in that respect. These these players now are are used to competing. Uh, the standards are so high, um, and it's important. We've spoke a little bit about the, you know how how do you want to be remembered. Of playing for England in terms of a legacy, um, and they're you know they're, they're so close, and and hopefully um, they go that one step further. I've got a lot of belief in them. Spoke about this already in the in some of the meetings that we've had. Um, ultimately, the hardest thing is you know that that last that last push. But you know we all, we all we all believe that they can do it. And Harry, do you agree that this is this week has felt like building on the past rather than a fresh start? Yeah, I think so. I think. Um... You know, like I touched on a bit earlier, to get to two finals in, in four years means you're doing a lot of things right. But ultimately, um, yeah, you need to you know have a few fresh ideas and a few different ways that you want to try and improve. And um, yeah, I think that's what the boss has come in to, to try and do. You know, um, 
there's always room for improvement. We know that, like I touched on in the summer, it was uh, it was great to get to the final, but we know there's areas we we could have been better. And and now it's about trying to implement that up until the the World Cup in in a couple of years. So um, yeah, I'm excited for that opportunity, and and I think everyone's just ready to to go out there and give that a go starting tomorrow. Okay, any further questions? Hi, Lee. Uh, Nathan Murphy off the ball. How do you think you'll feel when you walk out to a, a place where you've had so many good memories in an Ireland jersey as, as the manager of England? Um, proud. Um, it's, it's not something that I've thought that much about until recently. I think when, when I seen the, the draw, obviously it was fully focused on the under-21s and I thought that that would be, that's going to be a good game. You know, and I didn't realise that, obviously, until two weeks ago that I was actually going to be here. So yeah, I'm excited by it. Um, I spoke about it a, a few a few days ago. It's not something that I'm overawed by. Um, I'm excited with the challenge. I think it's you know I'm, I've got a lot of confidence in the players. I think if um, you know I think I think they'll they'll enjoy the atmosphere. I think it'll be it's a good game for them to to, to come back to off off the back of a you know a big disappointment. So hopefully they can um, we can perform. When you talk about maybe a calmly celebrating a, a last minute winner, would that be different tomorrow compared to any other game because it is Ireland? Or would that just be your natural reaction? Yeah, I'm not, I try not to get too emotional in, in games, to be honest. Um, you know, I've, I've always been the same. I, I'm, I, I, you know, that's just that's just the way I am. I try to keep quite calm. You know, I've been I've been on the end of a, a lot of last minute winners for the opposition, so so I, I understand the the respect bit. So, and you know, I'm I'm, de I'm definitely respectful and, and and weary that of of my my history as well. So, yeah, like I say, it's. Um, I'm looking forward to the game. Have you heard much from many of your former Irish teammates in the build-up? Yeah, I've heard a lot from, from a lot of them. A lot <laughs> who of them, yeah. who and what have they been saying? No, I won't be fair to say, but they're, they're really supportive. I mean, they're, they're really proud of the, the fact of, of the position that I've, you know, I've got to. Um, you know, and it's, 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 um, it's something that I'm really proud of. Um, you know, it's a, you know it's, a, it's a great opportunity for not only for, my, for myself and the team, but for the staff as well, and one that we're, we're looking forward to. Harry, there's a strong Irish connection in your family as well. Are, is that something you've spoken about with them ahead of the game? Or are a lot more of them coming over to this to a normal away match? Does it, does it mean more to you and your family? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. So my, my grandparents were, well, my, my dad's mum and dad were, uh, were Irish, were born in Ireland and then, uh, and then moved to England. So, yeah, got some extended family uh, in Ireland. So I'm sure they'll be watching uh, in the pubs probably. One in Ireland to win, but maybe one in me to score a goal. So um, no, it's uh, no, it'd be a great game. It's my first time playing Ireland, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure it'll be a great atmosphere, and and yeah, you know, I'm respectful to any nation that that I play against. So this is uh, no different. Okay, over to the gentleman in the second row, the blue shirt. So Lee, you said uh, it's not a fresh start. You're building on the past. Um, but at least this game against Ireland is a, a new chapter for the selection, as long as you also called new players. But there's uh, one player who's uh, shining at the moment who's not in the squad. Uh, this player is uh, Mason Greenwood. Um, are you watching his game in uh, Marseille? He's still considered as a player you can call. Yeah, Mason wasn't a player that we can consider, to be honest now. Um, I'm aware of, of how he's doing, but he wasn't, he wasn't under consideration. Thank you. And someone behind him? Um, just Lee, if there was one particular highlight from your Ireland career, uh, what would it be? What would it be? Um, I've got a few. I can remember a few lowlights, um, um, highlights, from debut probably, um, playing against Romania at Lansdowne um, with Andy Townsend, Ray Houghton, Tony Cascarino, Noel Quinn. Um, you know, good memories. You know, playing on a what is what was then a, a rugby pitch. Um, that was waterlogged, the wind was blowing, um, you know, playing against a fantastic um, Romanian team, and I just, you know, it was, the pitch was horrendous, but I just remember Hadji, it, it, it was almost like he had flip-flops on, he was, he was so smooth, and the way that he played, and his left foot, so, yeah, that was, that was probably a highlight, it was a good, that was a good memory. Cool. Uh, uh, sorry, just Harry, I read somewhere before that you've donated jerseys and boots to a, a local club in Letterfrack, where your family originated from, is that true? Yeah, I would have done. Yeah, I mean, um, my my dad still keeps in touch with the family there. Uh, if I'm honest, not not me so much, but um, yeah, I think we've got great support in in Ireland. You know, there's a lot of 
uh, kids and uh, kids here, and like you saw today, that support uh, English players, they support the Premier League and, and Bundesliga now for me. So um, yeah, I think it's important to you know <coughs> remember you know everyone in in your family to a sense. Uh, like I said, I don't get out here too much, or I don't see them too much, but. Um, yeah, I, I like to kind of give back where I can, and um, I'm sure, yeah, my dad would have sorted out uh, that sort of scenario. And uh, I'm always happy to, you know, try and give back to uh, kids, especially to to try and uh, hopefully one one day achieve their dreams. So, finally, do you remember your first ever Tottenham goal at Shamrock Rovers? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't forget that one. Um, no, it was a great, a great night. Uh, with Harry Redknapp and um, I can't remember what the score was but it was nice to, 4-0 well, it was nice to get on and, and nick a goal and my first Tottenham goal and obviously it went on to be the first of, of many there so um, yeah it's a great memory yeah, One for Lee one for Harry if that's okay Lee what do you expect of Ireland it's a new manager but essentially the same squad and John O'Shea on the staff so yeah. what do you expect you expect something different I'm not sure, to be honest. We've um, we've spoke about what what potentially we we could come up against. Um, we watched a few of the games the uh, the coach was recently involved with with Jamaica as well. So just to get us an idea of potentially how he might play, I know they're going to be well organised. They're going to be very motivated. Um, they've got some good good players. Um, so it's important that we um, approach the game with respect and and um, and, and match them. Um, we we expect it to be energetic, high tempo. So, um, like I say, I think it'll be they'll be well coached and um, you know highly motivated. Thanks, Lee. And just for Harry, uh, in your role as captain, Lee spoke earlier about the reception that Declan and Jack Grealish are going to get. Um, players change clubs at clubs all the time, but international allegiance is different. So, is the role for you as captain to maybe have a word that this could be a little bit different? It's not just changing club. I don't think specifically for them. I think um, we know it's going to be a tough atmosphere, a hostile atmosphere. I think. You know, everyone has a different career path. Everyone, um, yeah, has decisions to make along their journey to try and uh, be the best they can be, and, and that's what Declan and and Jack have done. So, uh, yeah, look, they might be, they might get some stick, and that's part and parcel of football now, whether it's at club or or international level. But uh, ultimately, they made decisions on what they thought was best for for them in their careers, and and you can never. Um, yeah, you can never say you know a bad word for them for for doing that. We'll finish here. On the front row. Uh, thanks very much, um, uh, Lee. One for you for me. Uh, good to see you back on Irish soil. Um, another Irish question. Sorry about that. We'll get they're out of the way after this press conference. You said there you want how, about your players how they want to be remembered. Yeah. How do you want to be remembered? You played forty times for Ireland. You played in the World Cup finals. Yeah. That or and a successful coach of England. I, I suppose both. Um, it's uh, the, the, the career that I had uh, with Ireland. I'm really proud of. It was a, it was it was one that was up and down, um, but ultimately I enjoyed it. The the experience that we had in the World Cup, the the um, the camaraderie that we had in the squad, the um, you know the memories will, will go a long way. I made some great friends as well um, that I look back on. Um, but now, ultimately, my 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 coaching career took took a path where. You know, I really enjoy uh, helping players and seeing players progress. Um, that's that's taught me to different jobs in different places. So, um, good thing about the job where I'm at at the minute, I'm highly supported. Um, we really, really feel really feel that from from my my bosses um, and the opportunity and the trust that they've got in me. You know, ultimately, you want to repay that. And finally, there was a lot of speculation on this side of the Irish Sea when there was a vacancy in the Irish manager position yeah. and your name was linked. I think you have touched upon that before. Yeah. So just to, if you wouldn't mind just clarifying the timeline, th there seemed to be a chat last November with the FAI, a cup of yeah. coffee type thing. Yeah. Uh, didn't go any further than that. Is that your yeah. record? That was yeah. the end of it then, was it? Yeah, I can't remember the exact timeline, but um, yeah, I, I after the after the Euros, um, I, I sat down with the um, with the FA's approval to speak to two or three people um, from different different opportunities, um, just out of respect more than more than anything, and, and the Republic of Ireland were one. Um, it was very informal; it went no further. And um, like I say, I'm very lucky and privileged to the job that I've got. So uh, I knew that going into talking to anyone.